On behalf of ExpertVillage.com, my name is Stan, and I'm here to tell you about community theater, sound, lights, and uh, technical support. Um, when you're designing your sound and lights for a theater production, you need to get it, th that design going as soon as possible because the actors will need to have time to practice with the sound cues and the lighting cues. Uh, you don't want those sound and lighting cues to be ready the night before you open because that really upsets the actors. <laughs> so get those designs done, select the music, get the sound effects done as early in the production as you can so that you can have a tech rehearsal uh, a couple of weeks before you open, if at all possible. That'll give the actors a chance to practice with those things. Our lighting system here at Verde Valley Theater right now is a very uh, homemade system. Uh, one of our members uh, had an ingenious design, I think. Uh, he used metal conduit to support the lights. These are just uh, commonly available floodlights, and he made shades for them uh, out of aluminum pie pans and then painted everything black. And it works extremely well, um, and it's quite inexpensive compared to theater lights. Of course, when we get our new theater building, we hope to get a grant so that we can get real theater lights that are computer controlled and so on. But these things uh, have worked pretty well for us just off of household dimmers. The problem is you have very limited wattage and you can't do a lot of fancy things with the lights. Our sound booth in this theater uh, is up, up at the very far end of the theater. It's quite far from the stage. Uh, we're just using uh, home, ampli home amplifiers and uh, speakers. The speakers are underneath the stage. We have some long runs of wire, so we do get some distortion. Uh, most good theater sound systems have amplified speakers, so the, you're not sending the signal through such long wires. But it works pretty well for us for most purposes, and it works pretty well for the sound effects. Um, the, uh, the system uh, is in need of replacement, though, and that'll be coming up soon, I hope. Uh, another thing we've just started doing with sound, which is really an excellent thing, if you have a Macintosh computer, you can get a free uh, program called QLab, which you can use to set up sound cues. You use files, sound files that are stored on the computer, and it has a really nice interface. And the nice thing about this is it's set up so that you can push the space bar, and it plays the next cue and then stops and waits for you to cue the next cue automatically. Or you can set it to play a sequence of cues. You can have them overlapping. You can do all sorts of fancy things. All you need is a computer this program and a sound system. So uh, I highly recommend that as an inexpensive solution for community theaters.